Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Vince Lombardi, the American football coach, had quoted, quote, Football is like life. It requires perseverance, self-denial, hard work, sacrifice, dedication, and the respect for authority. Unquote. What a true saying. Today, we are going to talk about an Indian woman footballer who is the first Indian to be nominated by the Asian Football Confederation Women's Football Player of the Year 2019. Do you know whom I am referring to? She is one and only Loitongbam Asalata Devi, the current national Indian football captain of India. She is a numero uno defender of the Indian women football team. In this video, we will learn about her life, her struggle, and her achievement. So hang around and watch the video till the end. Before we go on any further, please like, share, and the comment on the video. It is your like, share, and the comment on the video that gives me the motivation to produce more of such video. If you haven't subscribed the channel, please click this subscribe button and please don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my updates. Loitongbam Asalata Devi was born on 3 July 1993 in Imphal, Manipur. She had six siblings. One day when she was studying in class 7, she complained to her teacher that the boys have their football squad while the girls didn't have one. The teacher then had formed a girls team. She was part of the first girl club of the school. She was so happy that day she came running home. When her mother listened to what she had told her mother, her mother was not very happy. She used to discourage her not to play football as football was not for girls. However, she used to play football with boys secretly, least her mother know about it. She played barefoot. It was her uncle that came to her rescue. He bought her football kit. She used to compete with the boy. As a result, her skills were developed than most of the girls. She had quoted, quote, Playing with boys was never frightening or tough for that matter. What was difficult was escaping society and going to the field." Unquote. She used to play for a local club for two years. She used to travel for 40 minutes to practice the game of football from her home to the practice field. To reduce the traveling time and to get more training, she used to stay at the club where she was coached by Chauva Devi. The coach has guided her very well. She had quoted in an interview, quote, Chauva Mame told me everything. She told us stories of her childhood, how she became a footballer, how she played for India, and I took that when I started dreaming of droning the Indian color for the first time. Due to her perseverance and dedication, she used to hone her ability a lot. Her football skill improved during this time. She was getting the attention of the football expert. In 2008, all her effort and the perseverance bore fruit. She was selected in the Indian national under-17 team that played against the Chinese Taipei for the AFC qualifier in Malaysia. This was her first internal exposure. She grabbed it with both hands. Many more were to come her way. She debuted for the Indian national senior football team in 2011 as an 18-year-old. She played her first international match against Netherlands in Navi, Mumbai. The first match was won by Netherlands. The second match against Netherlands was memorable one for her. India won the match. She was instrumental in India winning the match as she scored a goal through a magnificent free kick. What a memorable day it was for her. In the match, she was declared the best player of the match based on her superb performance. 
Since her debut in 2011, she has played 48 international matches, scoring 4 goals to date. In her long football career, there are many achievements prominent among these are. In 2018, she had been nominated the captain of the international women football team. What an honor it is to be a captain of the international football team. Under her ever leadership, India had won the SAFE Football 2019. What made this achievement special was that beside her, only Grace Dangmai and the Ngangon Bala, no other player in the team had played more than 30 international matches. She was leading a very young Indian women football team. The championship was the fifth edition of the SAFE Women Championship. It was held in Nepal in March 2019. The final was contested between India and Nepal. In front of the hostile crowd of Nepal, Indian women team had displayed a great game of football and lifted the cup by defeating Nepal 3-1. Besides this, Indian women had been champion of the cup in 2012, 2014, 2016. In 2016, edition of the South Asian game held at India. Indian women football team had participated and produced one of the memorable matches. Five countries took part in the game. Nepal, Bangladesh, Maldives, Sri Lanka, besides India. The football final was contested between India and Nepal at Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Silong on 15 February 2016. India defeated Nepal in the final 4-0. The goal scorer were Yumnam Kamala Devi, 2 goals, Ngangom Bala Devi, 1 goal, and the Asalata Devi, 1 goal. This had made the final even more momentous. What a happy moment for the Indian women football team. In the history of the Indian women football, the team had never gone past the first round of the Olympic qualifier. Indian women football team under the accomplished keeper of Asalata had entered the second round of the Olympic qualifier for the 2020 Tokyo Olympic. They were ousted by Myanmar in the second round. Still, it was a great achievement for Asalata and the women football team. This was a record of sword. For this performance, she was named the All India Football Federation Football of the Year 2019. What was unique about her accomplishment was that it was given to a defender for the first time in the history of the award. She was that good defender. Not only in India was her skill being recognized but abroad. She was dominated by the Asian Football Confederation Players of the Year 2019 along with Li Ying of China and Saki Kumagi of Japan. This was the first time that any woman footballer of India had been nominated for the honor. What an accomplishment! In 2015, along with Oinam Bambam and Bala Devi, she was part of the Maldives New Region Club in the Maldivian League. The New Region were crowned champion of the Maldives Domestic League. In the India's Domestic Premier League, known as Indian Women League, she had participated in all the season. The first ever professional Indian Women League was organized with six teams at New Delhi in 2016-17. Asalata Devi represented Rising Student Club Orissa in the inaugural season of the league. The club was a runner-up in the league. In the next season, she was transferred to Kripsa FC. For 2018-19 Indian Women League, she joined Setu FC. She played a big part in the club being the champion in 2018-19. She had quoted that, quote, This rally is like a dream come true for me. You never really think of this milestone when you are growing up. But I am happy that the hard work that I have put in over the year has got the recognition on the continental level." Unquote. Asalata had shown to the world that with hard work, dedication, and the perseverance, you can achieve anything in this world. May she continue 
to perform much better and bring Laurel to her country and her state Manipur. With that note, let me shorten this video. Thank you everyone for watching this video till the end.